It's no surprise that Tribeca is known as being one of the pricier neighborhoods here in Manhattan, and it's partially because of the celebs and the high profile people that live here. But is this neighborhood actually worth the price? You're going to find out in this video. Also no surprise that this neighborhood has some really nice homes. I mean, really nice homes. Like some of the nicest homes that you're gonna see in all of Manhattan. They have really raised the bar for Manhattan architecture as a whole here in the neighborhood. It's honestly incredible to see. So Tribeca is pretty much made up of rentals and condo buildings. There are some co-op buildings here as well, but not nearly as many as other neighborhoods throughout the city. But regardless of what type of real estate it is here, it's all expensive. Like literally everything is expensive in Tribeca. So why do people pay such a high price to live in Tribeca? Is the neighborhood really that great? There's a few reasons why. The dining options are absolutely incredible here. I do have to say, some of the best dining in the city is in this neighborhood. But just like the homes, it's also very, very expensive. There's not much of a casual dining scene in the neighborhood. There is a little, but it's very, very overshadowed by the trendier high profile restaurants in the neighborhood. Another reason is the homes. Like I said before, Tribeca has gorgeous homes and it's hard for other neighborhoods to compete with what Tribeca has to offer, especially if money is no object for you. There's top of the line finishes, amazing views. The layouts here in Tribeca apartments tend to be more ideal. Plus a lot of these high end buildings are located on these streets that are very, very ideal to live on, meaning they're aesthetically pleasing, they're clean and people want to live there. Not every street in Manhattan is aesthetically pleasing, that's for sure. There are also some people that just love to say that they live in Tribeca. I would know because I was one of them. I moved from Midtown to Tribeca and I thought it was a dream come true. I was so, so excited. When I finally moved to Tribeca, I was like, this is it. I'm never going to move again. This is the end game for me. So to be honest, during my first year living there in Tribeca, I realized that the neighborhood wasn't everything that I thought it was going to be. I actually liked the idea of living in Tribeca more than I actually enjoyed living there on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is just my experience living in Tribeca. And I don't want this to sway people one way or another because I do think that Tribeca is a really, really great neighborhood. It was just my experience and where I chose to live in the neighborhood. I didn't love the street I lived on. And I honestly think that if I have lived in a different neighborhood in Tribeca, I might have loved it more and might still be in the neighborhood to this day. It's honestly crazy how that can make a world of a difference in New York City. So overall, is Tribeca worth it? Well, unfortunately, you're not gonna like this answer, but it's up for you to decide. I never think that you should move to a neighborhood because it's trendy and because you want to say that you live there. And I hope you agree with that, especially after hearing my experience. It can be the wrong decision like it was for me at that time in my life. Like I said, I think that if I moved to Tribeca in a different way, in a different location, an area of the neighborhood, I might've really liked it. It just happened to be where I was living at the time. So right now, as I'm filming this video, I don't live in Tribeca, but I spend so much time in Tribeca on a daily basis still, even though I don't live there. I think that Tribeca has so many perks and I think that so many of you watching this video are gonna love living in the neighborhood if you choose to live there. Now, I would love to know in the comments, do you think Tribeca is worth it? Now, I would love to know in the comments, do you think Tribeca is worth it? As always, I just love hearing from you guys. 